Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, it's been a long time since I've made a YouTube video regarding typology. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and go through a lot of socionics for those that don't know socionics or are new to it, or just want to hear my take on the information elements, etc. Um, I want to make this video, uh, try to make the information as clear and concise as possible, um, but also uh, not too confusing because I think that's one of the problems that Socionics has as a group. Um, so, so yeah, um, it's it's been a good while, man. I don't know if everyone remembers all the uh, MBTI days where I used to make those videos. I took them all down for my channel, but um, but yeah, I think uh, I think it's about time. I uh, I get back into typology a little bit just because, you know, uh, I don't know, it seems like most of my subscribers want that anyways, uh, whereas I like to post, you know, content about philosophy, spirituality uh, a little bit more. Um, that's not really going to be the, uh, um, I think most people want the typology content. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to you guys. Um, today... Right now, I'm going to start with the functions and the information elements. So just to make this clear for you, I know in MBTI, they call the, um, they call like FE, FI, TETI, SESI, NE, NI. Um, they call all of those um, the functions. But in Socionics, this is not how it works. The way it works is, you have the information elements, which are basically the types of information there are. Um, they call the, these the uh, IMEs or the IEs for information elements or information metabolism elements. Um, and then for the, uh, the other side of socionics is the functions. So it is very much um, for the functions, it's, it's all about the placement in the personality. So um, to give you an example of what that means, um, they have this function called the mobilizing function, which or the creative function, which those two are like the equivalent of the second and third slot, the second being um, the creative and the third slot being um, the mobilizing, um, at least the equivalent to MBTI. Um, and the uh, the basic idea here being that while I may have introverted thinking in my mobilizing function, um, many other people have uh, other elements in their mobilizing function. So that's just a way to say like the third slot, um, but it also it's supposed to describe um, the way in which the person uses that type of information, or you could say the way it's slotted into their life. Um, so that's one way of uh, that's one way of putting it. Um, I think just to give you an example, like um, your one-dimensional or your uh, suggestive element is the uh, one of the weakest elements, but it's the one you care the most about. And so a lot of your uh, it's going to be like the one missing thing that you want to uh, you want to see fulfilled in your life, right? So that's like one example. Um, whereas that's not the, uh, there, obviously there's all these different functions and they all play a role in the personality. So we're going to get to that eventually, but before we do that, I want to jump into the information elements, um, at least from a socionics perspective to give you guys a rundown on how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video right here. And then we're going to pick it up on the other one, uh, on the next video where I go ahead and start talking about the functions.